snuggle up and let me read you a little something. Grab a seat, a bite to eat, and settle right in. For hugs, snuggles, stories, and more, and so many sweet things in store. Welcome to Afternoons with Mimi. No time to talk, Mimi. I'm about to beat level 54, and then I'll have one more to go before I get the triple game prize pack. Uh, excuse me. Hold on. Just need to unpause. Do you have a charger? I don't want to run out of batteries. Oh, w- wait a minute. Slow down. So close, so close. No! No, no, no! Mimi, I lost! <sighs> okay, take a breather there, Nishama. Now... I know this game is serious business, but when you come into my house, I expect you to at least say hello and tell me a little something about your day before you dive into a video game. Sorry, Mimi. Hello. I love you. Okay, I'm off to play. Uh, time out. I need you to help me get ready for Shabbat dinner. But Mimi, I'm so close. I just have one more Mm, level to... No buts. Come help me set the table and settle down. The sun will be setting soon, and your family and our friends are coming over for dinner. Give me a hand, please. Ugh, I just wanted to play my game. And now when Ima gets here, I know she'll take it away until after lunchtime tomorrow. A little time away from your game will do you some good. Now please, finish setting out the napkins. And here's the cover for the challah. Ah, great job. I'm working so much faster with you here. <clears throat> Kiddo, can you please check in the long drawer in the kitchen to see if I have another set of candlesticks? Okay, Mimi. And no sneaking off to play that game. I mean it. I want to spend time with you. All right, Mimi. I found some birthday candles. Will these work? We will make do. Okay, There's the cups, the plates, the challahs on the stove, the crock pot's on warm, the pot over there has the main course, the salad's in the fridge. (sighs) I think we're done and have just enough time to... Play another round of my game! Mm, I was going to say, read a story. Oh, I guess that could be nice, too. I think you'll like this one. It just came in the mail, and it's all about resting on Shabbat. But I don't want to rest. I want to play my game. Well, let's see what happens in this story. Maybe you'll understand why a little rest is good for you. Yitzi the Trusty Tractor. Written by Naomi Shulman. Illustrated by Shelley Cuvillon. Farmer Sarah's veggies were delicious and nutritious. She always rode her trusty tractor, Yitzi. Together, they did the hard, fun work of farming. I couldn't do it without my trusty Yitzi, Sarah always said. Yitzi wasn't just trusty, he was also a little musty and a little rusty. But Sarah knew when to change his oil. She knew how to handle his clutch. She knew the right way to switch his gears. We're a great team, Sarah said. Rrr, Yitzi answered. Sarah and Yitzi did their hard fun work every single day, except on Shabbat. Every Friday evening, Yitzi powered down his headlights just as Sarah was about to light candles. Then, Sarah sipped a little grape juice as Yitzi sipped a little gasoline. Sarah munched challah as she sat on Yitzi's hood, and they both watched the darkening sky. Shabbat shalom, Sarah said, giving Yitzi a pat. On Saturday... Sarah and Yitzi picnicked under the trees and took naps by the river. Sarah would read books out loud to Yitzi. When three stars appeared in the night sky, Shabbat was over, and Sarah and Yitzi were ready for another week of hard, fun work. But as hard as they both worked, Sarah had trouble paying all of her bills. Eventually, a very sad day came. Sarah couldn't afford Yitzi's gasoline. She knew what she had to do. I'm so sorry, Yitzi, Sarah said tearfully. I'll make sure you go to a good home. Yitzi answered understandingly. 
Sarah's neighbor, Farmer Ruthie, noticed the sign. She'd always wished her veggies could be as delicious and nutritious as Sarah's. Maybe Yitzi could help, she thought. I'm here to buy your tractor, she said. You'll have to change his oil every month, Sarah told Ruthie. I will, Ruthie agreed. And switch his gears slowly, Sarah said. I will, Ruthie agreed. And handle his clutch gently, the way I do, Sarah said. I'll do everything the way you do, Ruthie promised. Sarah knew Ruthie would give Yitzi a good home. Ruthie and Yitzi worked all week long in Ruthie's field, and trusty Yitzi worked just as hard as ever. Meanwhile, Sarah missed Yitzi and their hard, fun work. Yitzi missed Sarah, too. When Friday evening came, Ruthie and Yitzi were motoring down the fields. Suddenly, Yitzi's engine stopped. What's wrong, Yitzi? Ruthie asked. Are you too musty and rusty to keep going? Yitzi didn't answer. Ruthie looked at all the gauges on Yitzi's dashboard. Everything seemed okay. Huh, I don't get it, Yitzi, she said. Why did you stop working? Yitzi still didn't answer. He powered down his headlights and rested all night. And the next morning, Yitzi kept resting. Ruthie marched across the field to Sarah's farm. Your tractor isn't working, she complained. Worried, Sarah ran over to Ruthie's field. But when Sarah got there, Yitzi looked fine and very happy to see her. Sarah hugged Yitzi and then returned to Ruthie. I know what's going on, she said. It's Shabbat. So, demanded Ruthie. He's resting, Sarah explained. That's what Yitzi and I do every Shabbat. He'll work even better for you tomorrow. You'll see. Sure enough, Yitzi rested until Saturday night when three stars appeared in the sky. Then his headlights popped back on. Rrrr, he said, ready to start working again. And Ruthie found that he did, indeed, work even harder the next day. She also realized just how much Yitzi had been missing Sarah. So Ruthie and Sarah decided they would share trusty Yitzi. He worked in Ruthie's field one day and Sarah's the next. Then Sarah and Ruthie sold their delicious, nutritious veggies at the same table at the farmer's market. When they worked together, the work was less hard and more fun, and now they could both pay their bills. <laughs> We're a great team, Sarah and Ruthie said happily. Arr, Yitzi agreed. And every Shabbat, the three of them rested together. The end. What do you think? Hmm, so Yitzi worked better after he took a rest? Yep. And the farmers had more vegetables? Mm-hmm. Do you think maybe I'll be better at my game if I take a break? Bingo! You can't run on an empty tank. Shabbat gives us a chance to rest and refuel after a busy week of school, work, activities, and errands. And just like Yitzi knows when it's time to power down his headlights, I hope you learn when it's best to power down your game and spend some time with your family and loved ones. Speaking of... They're here! Go answer the door and let everyone in, Nishama Shali. Hi! Hello! Shabbat Shalom! 